Hello students, welcome to Learner's Planet. Uh, in today's session, we are going to discuss about endocrine system. This endocrine system is a special specific system present in our body uh, which is constituted by different types of endocrine glands or the glands which are secreting out the hormones and uh, transporting the uh, which are transported to the target site through the blood. That means these are the ductless glands. Right. Uh, hormones are the special chemical messengers which are basically required so as to control and coordinate different functions in our body. Uh, of course, uh, if this uh, control and coordination is taking place, then definitely it is one of the major or one of the most important system of our body, almost equivalent to the nervous system, right? Uh, well, nervous system is quite more complex and is made up of only nervous tissue, uh, which is uh, in which the functional unit is the uh, nerve cell. But here in the endocrine system, the glands are playing the major role and there are different types of glands in our body so as to control different types of function. So let us just have a look over it and let us discuss that what these glands are. So the very first gland that we need to uh, study here is the hypothalamus. Uh, this hypothalamus is uh, really a very important uh, gland and is located uh, uh, near in the uh, in near the midbrain. Right, it is between the midbrain and the henbrain or at the uh, roof of cerebrum we can say. There is a structure in the brain known as a diencephalon and near this diencephalon this hypothalamus is located. Right, uh, the major function of this hypothalamus is to secrete out the releasing hormones. Right, now these releasing hormones are so important that uh, uh, they are actually controlling the function of the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is known as the master gland in our body and is secreting different types of glands, right, uh, which are either directly controlling and regulating various functions of our body uh, or they are controlling the functions of other glands in our body, right. So this pituitary gland is actually the master gland and even the activities or the uh, secretion of this pituitary gland is controlled by the hypothalamus. There, uh, by after responding the different uh, uh, condition or the activities in our body, this hypothalamus releases out a particular hormone, and that hormone activates the pit, a particular part of the pituitary gland so as to secrete the particular type of hormone. For example, uh, we can say like. Uh, uh, suppose if there is this uh, thyroid gland in our neck region or the throat region uh, and this thyroid gland is secreting a specific hormone, right? Now, when this hormone is to be secreted, right, that is decided by the hypothalamus. If there is a requirement for this secretion of this thyroid gland, the hypothalamus releases out the particular thyroid releasing hormone which further going uh, further it activates the pituitary gland. So uh, after activating or uh, uh, just uh, transporting this message to the pituitary gland, then this uh, pituitary gland is further going to secrete out the another hormone that is known as thyroid stimulating hormone. Right, and then this stimulating hormone will go and further activate the thyroid gland so as to release the thyro uh, thyroxine hormone. Right, uh, so this is how I can say that the hypothalamus is basically uh, secreting out the releasing hormones which are act uh, activating the pituitary gland so as to uh, secrete out the either stimulating hormones or the inhibitory hormones which are further going to either stimulate that is activate or further inhibit the function of other glands and of course this function is very important because in this case if it does not happen the glands will continuously uh, secrete the uh, particular hormone right and that can change the normal level in our body. On the other hand even it is possible that uh, uh, the uh, glands are not getting activated right in the absence of such secretions and further again our uh, control and coordination function is disturbed. So this is how the hypothalamus and pituitary gland is playing a very important role in our body. Uh, besides this type of uh, function, this pituitary gland is also secreting the specific hormones uh, which are required for the normal functioning of body. For example, uh, the growth hormone which is a human growth hormone or it is also known as a somatotropic hormone. Somato uh, related to the somatic cells. Tropo related, tropic related to the growth. Uh, 
so growth of these somatic cells is actually under the control of the hormones secreted by the pituitary gland these particular hormones uh, that is the growth hormone or the somatotropic hormone is basically controlling the growth of the muscular cells the bone cells and so on due to which you can observe the increase in the size of an organism's body right so this is the one of the function of the pituitary gland uh, the, there is the region in the pituitary gland itself which is secreting the hormones like uh, um, like uh, prolactin. Uh, this prolactin is actually required so as to control the function of the mammary glands. Right. Uh, post pregnancy, a uh, female is uh, actually uh, it has to feed her baby, isn't it? So how she is going to feed it? Of course, by the secretion of milk. And the secretion of milk by the mammary glands is actually controlled by the secretion of the pituitary gland. Fine. Similarly, there is an hormone like uh, 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 oxytocin. This oxytocin, oxytocin is actually required or it is uh, uh, controlling the contraction and relaxation of the smooth muscles in our uterus. And due to this, they are helping in the process of parturition. That is the uh, birth, uh, uh, the delivery of a child after the gestation period or at the end of the nine months of gestation period. Right. Uh, then another hormone is like uh, vasopressin, which is also known as ADH. That is antidiuretic hormone. Now this vasopressin is uh, actually controlling the uh, level of water in the urine. Right. So it is uh, functioning in the uh, in the kidney. The target site is of course the nephrons which are present in the kidney. And over there in the distal convoluted tubule. It is uh, actually regulating or controlling the reabsorption of water. So it controls the amount of water which is excreted out from our body. If this particular hormone is not there, you know what will happen? If it is not functioning properly, uh, the person is going to excrete out uh, urine very frequently due to which uh, the urine is very dilute. Right. And there is of course uh, enough loss of water also from the body. So such type of condition is actually known as the diabetes mellitus also. Fine. Uh, in similar way, there are many other hormones which are secreted by the pituitary glands and they are controlling different functions of our body. Uh, the Another gl uh, gland in the same region, that is in this uh, brain region itself, is the pineal gland or the pineal body. And this pineal body, the secretion of this uh, pineal body is controlling the functions of the ovaries or the gonads, ovaries as well as the testes. So it is, uh, we can say, basically controlling the uh, secondary growth um, indirectly. Right. The next gland is the parathyroid gland. Parathyroid and thyroid gland, they both are present in the throat region. They are uh, present in the uh, in the anterior and the posterior side of the larynx, which is present in our uh, throat region. Thyroid gland, the uh, secretion of thyroid gland is the thyroxine. Uh, thyroxine hormone and this uh, thyroxine hormone is uh, uh, actively it is active only when it is uh, uh, bound to the iodine group or the iodine molecules right so this type of hormone is actually controlling the metabolism of uh, uh, carbohydrate uh, lipids and proteins in our body Whereas this parathyroid, the secretion is parathyroxine and it is actually controlling the or it is regulating the metabolism of uh, uh, minerals like calcium uh, and so on. So this is what the function of these glands here or the hormones which are secreted by these glands. And as I already, to already told you that uh, uh, thyroid gland is going to secrete its own hormone after getting uh, activated by the hormone secreted by the pituitary gland. Which uh, hormone? That is thyroid stimulating hormone. And thyroid stimulating hormone is secreted when? When it is activated by the hypothalamus. Right? So you can see that how these, the system is interlinked and is working in the coordinated fashion and is controlling the different functions of our body. So this is uh, for now and further we will discuss about the different other uh, hormones or the glands of our body and their secretions and how they are functioning over there. So till then thank you so much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.